Up next, we delve into our big stories and our usual guests are here with us. But we start with uh, the bit about knowing that the Speaker of Parliament has been fuming over the failure of finance ministers to furnish Parliament with certain details. Yesterday on the floor of Parliament, we had that banter. I don't want to call it an altercation between uh, the Minister for Communications and Digitalization, Ursula Wusu Kufo, and Member of Parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, Sam Jata George. It all had to do with some of these matters. Airtel Tigo, have we bought it for $1? Or what, what, what are the dynamics of it? And the call has been on the finance ministry to be more upfront with some of these uh, details. But to set the conversation rolling, even as we host our guests, uh, Al Hassan Suini, Member of Parliament for Tamale North. Good morning, sir. Good morning, our brother. <laughs> and Dr. Dixon Adomako Kisi, Member of uh, Parliament for Anya Soutum. Good morning. Morning. I would like us all to take a look at uh, something that has been put out there. The e-levy is not going anywhere. We're going to talk about it until it is either quashed or passed into law. Watch this. World Bank and I say IMF. Parliament. <laughs> Parliament. <laughs> So the thrust of what he is saying, and that, by the way, is Michael Otru uh Member of Parliament for New Juaben South. He is on the MPP end, and he suggests that, just because he was speaking uh, in local parlance, he suggests that the E-Levy has the support of the NDC. It is just that for political reasons, they can't come out and say it, and that secretly they are even the ones pushing uh, for this bill to be passed into law in Parliament because they know exactly how good it is and what magic it can do for the economy of Ghana. Our guest once more, Al-Hassan Suini, Member of Parliament, Tamale North, Dr. Dixon Adumakukisi, Member of Parliament, Anyaso Utuum. Uh, why are you people doing that? You support the thing and you are pretending you don't support the thing, yet you are pushing you Dixon's, want thing. Dixon's, uh, you, you want, want the thing. You are pushing Dixon's <laughs> head right for them to pass want the thing. thing. And, and you are, are you and throwing sand in the eyes of ordinary Ghana? Is that, that what thing. you're doing? You want the thing. I, I, I mean, when I first saw this, it over and over again to be sure that uh, it was not a voice over <laughs> because yes I know Honorable Bafi's voice but I just couldn't believe that he was the one you know um, engaging in such a ridiculous propaganda you know in an attempt to fool and mislead the poor, ignorant constituents of his. I felt very sorry when I saw the woman nod in agreement to some of the ridiculous things that he was saying. I mean, the video actually reveals the dirty propaganda that some people in this country do on the streets. And so when you even think you are making sense and it should be taken on board, you know, it is, it is, you are disadvantaged by this very scrolliest, you know, propaganda that, you know, some people do in the streets and on the market. For me, it's not even about the 
palpable falsehood, the palpable lie that the NDC members of parliament support this. Where, where, where is the lie? That you, you don't support it? it is from, he he claims to, that... I'll come you, to that. You are, are you not friends? I will come He says there are some of you I will come who to secretly that. come I'll to come them to that. and but say, see, we, we am, support this bill, but you are doing the But parliament. I'm saying that, it, for me, that is not even the shocking and very disheartening part of his presentation. The fact that he suggests to this poor, ignorant constituents that when we go to the World Bank, the World Bank will tell us to cancel free SHS. Mm. I mean, going to the heart of maybe the people, that your children will get free SHS. It, I mean, it is, it is for me, it's a testimony of the very vile propaganda that people do on the ground. But, but isn't it a fact that if you go for an IMF program, you have to make certain adjustments and that it could, even if it doesn't, I mean, I don't think it, they would say scrap free SHS, no. But they wouldn't. it could impact the resources, you know, no. the, the funds we no, pump into free see, SHS. All, is, is that not a way it, of looking at it? The last time, if you are going to take the example of the last time that we went to the IMF, we went there with our own program, the Homegrown Solutions. Right. It is allowed. Right. It is about us cutting expenditure. That's what everybody is saying. Mm. The reckless expenditure that doesn't, you know, uh, 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 contribute to productivity is what the IMF will ask you to cut. Obviously, human resource development through free SHS is not a reckless expenditure that does not contribute to productivity. Wow. In the long run, oh, come on. In the long run, it is something that we have all agreed on in this country. In fact, mm. if you recall the debates before the 2016 general elections, right. President Mahama kept giving the credit even to the framers of our constitution right. who thought about the need to make education free. FQ. FQ. And then also a progressively free. Apart from FQ, it was supposed to be progressively free. But was thoughtful enough to say we need to do that you know, in consonance with the resources available. So let's start. He even started the free day SHS, you know, gradually as resources and said that as resources. So it is not an argument. It is right. correct that right. we won't go to the IMF and the IMF will say that cuts, you know, or stop spending on free SHS. Mm -hmm. So to deceive the people like that, it just tells you, you know, perhaps how they are made to misunderstand desperation. I think so. I think this is a clear manifestation of a desperate member of parliament on the MPP side seeking to level the field in his constituency because of the whip system where I do know that many of them are uncomfortable with this levy, but for the whip system, they are supposed to go along with their party. So he's trying to level the field oh, so in his constituency. You are also suggesting that some of them on their end are not in favor of the thing, but well, they, they are following. Well, and, and you don't think that well, your end, some, no, some may be in support, no, listen, and, and listen, they listen, are still I can being whipped in line. I can infer. Mm. The optics are there. The minority side over the period right. have been consistent when it comes to our position, I mean, our opposition to the e levy. Mm. We have indicated on many platforms that we we'll vote against it. We have actually, you know, resisted attempts to illegally pass the e levy it is it is there so <laughs> the inference there is clear that we are all against it mm. now on their side the inference is that they are not able to get all 138 members present at all times mm. they are not able to why even when they blame it on you, you, think, you think it's we, because you think i suspect within their role if fraternity is, if it is about logical if it is about that. logical inference right if it's about logical inference, right. Politics, I can be logic. fair and I will be, you know, right to do so. That it is perhaps because some of the members are not comfortable with the levy. It, the, the, the leadership is finding it difficult to get them all together in the house when there is time. We, we have heard to, rumors about some people maybe not being so well and all of that. I mean, th well, that is normal. No, you you can't I, say on the back of that. What I do know is that mm. they have in the past blamed it only on Adwa Safo. No, but, right. yeah, but the last time, I know that the Friday before uh, Speaker Bagwin uh, traveled abroad, mm -hmm. about three of their members were absent. Right. It wasn't just Adwa Safo. Mm. No, but Why were they absent? And you, look. For a crucial, look, you know, situ in, in a crucial there situation. Are some like that. Yeah, 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 there are some discussions. There are some discussions. We have had meetings mm. with, you know, uh, either the finance minister, 
with uh, uh, leadership of the of the of the uh, you know uh, uh, new patriotic party members right. in parliament and discussions are hard and look go to even the finance committee uh, 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 records at the finance committee many of the you know amendments to the bill mm. majority of it even came from their side right Majority so it means, but, 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 but of course, it, it also means they are being Listen, responsible if, with it. But, but being see, responsible. Not all they are not all their proposals right. for amendments were taken. Okay. But they had no choice than to go with it because that is what the Minister of Finance wants. Let, 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 so clearly, right. clearly by their actions and by the the the, the, the picture they present, yeah. I can you know logically deduce that many of them do not support this bill. And perhaps that is what the member of parliament All is right. doing. He's trying to All push right. in the ground and let it look like, oh, we are not the only people for it. Because they know that the people are against it. And so supporting it, you know, detaches them from let, the let, people. Let, let but me, this lie, I, this ridiculous and, 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 falsehood, and, 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 and I come let, let, let me just... It's what makes people think let, that politicians are all liars and not to be... And I'll come, to that. I'll, I'll come to that. It's unfortunate. But, but let, let us make it very clear that we tried, you know, getting the Member of Parliament for New Job and South Do to, not speak to at you least join the conversation shameful. and share some thoughts um, uh, on this e levy and, and some of these things. He's but been he, caught. Uh, he had other things to do. No, we gave him no. a fair hearing. At so, least we, we allowed him that. He has nothing uh, to do. He's what what do you what do you make of this? Base. What do you make of this? So let me let me help Suhini a little bit. I, I think we should commend the government for as it is uh, adopting something from the NDC manifesto. I I, I think it's a plus uh, in terms of the development of the country. At one point, maybe the MPP did not see meaning and weight and the benefits of the E-Levy when it was in the NDC manifesto. But I, I think that I'll give our finance minister a, a plus for at least giving consideration to an idea that the uh, NDC also thought of. And, 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 what, what, and why, this, why, why, why do I get this, the impression you're, this, you're, you're also trying to oh, no, 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 equalize? No. This, this bit about... I'm not, I'm this, not equalizing. This is not I'm, the first time I'm, this I'm has going, come up about... I'm going to the genesis of E-Levy because he wants us to be logical. Right. Okay? But, but, and, and, and it's illogical for a party or a conglomerate mm. that at one point considered E-Levy as one avenue. Where? When? And now... And now Apparently, abhors it to when? to to. So, so I have heard so, talk about so, this before. So, just just so just to interject. So so so, so okay. we do the when right thing. The NDC okay. I have consider. heard talk about this before, even right here mm -hmm. in, in this behind this mm -hmm. very uh, desk. Mm -hmm. And the 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 talk has been that no, there were differences. Plus, from what I hear, that was going to be a, on the service charges. Not and, and 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 even this, it, it's a bit murky. So you have your e-levy. No, I think but, you should but, stick to it. But, but what someone but, else might have thought is, of and didn't implement. The point is that no, the you see, point, they see electronic, no, 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 like no, no, electronic no. shop. Then no. that's e-levy. Listen, once once right once yeah. they considered it in whatever uh, shape or form, mm. they gave some consideration to mm. electronic transaction, uh, you know, tariffs. And and I really think that in the interest of development. If there are good ideas in the NDC, we should take it. If there are good ideas in the MPP and it's the NDC government, they should take it. And that is why I'm just making a point that it is a plus to the finance minister for adopting an idea, if it was brown and it is green, once he's adopted an idea, that originated to an extent. I mean, there are many programs that now, even free SHS apparently, uh, uh, we now know, that Mahama started free SHS in this country. I thought it was in Kroma. I thought Nanado came to expand it to a level that we've never seen. But more, more and more, today, NDC is acknowledging or making the script different that Mahama was for free SHS and was the, 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 the front starter, the, the, the main person who did free SHS. That is fine. But now, coming back to Kufurudia, I think that both of us are not privy to all the friends that Michael Bay, uh, uh, Michael, Ochubefi. Michael Ochubefi has in Parliament. As I have very good friendship with him, whatever he discloses to me, 
might not be disclosed to the general public. But, but, I mean, but you it were, happens. You, you would tell us, has he ever told you he's in support? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm talking about no, no, I'm just him asking, and I. Has he ever what, told you, you he's in support of these? <laughs> so so my, my point is that whatever relationship he has with his other colleagues, we can't uh, you know, fault right. him for that. And, and clearly... We don't know who has said is, what to him at, it is, at any material it, is, it will be shocking for me to say that all MPP people are necessarily 100% for the E-Levy. Likewise, to say that all NDC people are against it. It, it is right. highly improbable. Right. Highly improbable. Right. What really happens is that as a House, as a majority caucus or minority, when we cast a vote and the, the, you know, the, 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 the high numbers win, you have to go with the high numbers. Mm. And, and it's the same with the NDC. Maybe it is highly improbable that no NDC uh, uh, member of parliament is f not for. Okay. You understand? Uh, so, so, so he has to admit to that fact that... Right. I mean, it, it, is, it is highly So, so we are putting the conversation impossible. In, in its proper context. But, but one impossible. other thing that I think strikes me mm -hmm. when such conversations come up, mm -hmm. you are called honorable You're, because of the positions you bear. On the floor. You, right. on, the, on the floor. And even by extension, now it has become very common. I mean, I think I've slipped already by yeah. calling you honorable today. It's yeah. become something we used to address you, and we hold you to certain lofty standards mm -hmm. as members of parliament, mm -hmm. as legislators. I know that you're human. It's a human institution, and oftentimes Absolutely. we've seen bizarre things that are mm -hmm. unbecoming of members even of parliament. Even fighting in parliament. But mm -hmm. in this era where people are getting cautioned and picked up when it comes to publication of false news, for example. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a stretch. Mm -hmm. And when you have someone say something like this, a member of parliament, and mm -hmm. if it is not technically the truth, I mean, some of what he said, like what? apart from, I mean, the, the bit about once we go to the IMF, we'll scrap for SHS and stuff like that. It's a possibility. It, 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 it's scrap it. It is a possibility. It, 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 and it's, I mean, in all no, of no, this. When it comes to austerity measures, uh, you know, the IMF can be ludicrous. But, 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 but this, is, this is the, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a stretch. It's isn't a possibility. It? How, how do we react when you, who are supposed to be honorable, act in certain ways like this no, when, when you are not supposedly, you know, supposedly peddling falsehood? That's, no, I'm just asking that's, you. That's the point I sought to make in my concluding remarks when I said mm -hmm. that these things don't, you know, reflect well on us at all as members of parliament. To um, take advantage of maybe the quote and unquote ignorance of your constituents. Maybe, maybe to, gullibility would be better. Yeah, gullibility. To, thank you. I was looking but for, it's a for a better word. To, 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 to peddle such falsehoods about state policy is, is, is shameful. And it contributes to the you know, uh, they, general perception. They, they stopped nurses' allowance. The general perception. They stopped that the allowance. I mean, all of these things. Please, they didn't. I mean, they didn't. Let, let them, let's, let's, let's not. Okay. They didn't. I okay. mean, it was, it was a government policy. And if you want me to take you through the teacher allowance history, I'll tell you, because I was the national vice president of Teacher Trainings Association of Ghana. It was when uh, M.B.A. Kumfi, I think, was right. education minister. And we Employment had these discussions. And we had like these that. discussions then. You but know, that, you know. let, let's, be, let's be honest. I mean, let's be very sincere that uh -huh. what Honorable Michael Bafi said is not something that the IMF will consider at all. I mean, human resource really? development... Develop, human resource development then, is never... Then why did we stop uh, furthering... But please, no, please, can I, can I, I make mean, that, that, that was Can, I, can I make package. my point? Can I make so my please point? Let him so the point I'm making is that, and, and, and you see, you should agree with me on this. I have said it on other right. platforms that this is my third profession. Okay. I was a teacher. I was a journalist. Okay. And this is my third profession as a, uh, you know, a, a politician. But right. trust me, you. Uh -huh. Look... I used to be proud to, you know, go to places and call myself a teacher. I used to be very proud mm -hmm. to introduce myself as a broadcast journalist. Mm -hmm. But there are times that I don't feel proud introducing myself as a politician because of the perception that people have about those of us in politics. And so things like this, apart from corruption issues and others, are the reasons why the profession is viewed you know, in negative light. And so we must not be rationalizing and promoting such conduct no, from possible? members of parliament. Is it possible? We must, we must be sincere. You, you know, we must be sincere mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. look, first of all, 
what he said is a palpable lie. Your rationalization that some members of the, I mean, not all members of the NDC can be for e levy and not all, uh, 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 I mean, uh, against e levy and not all members of the MPP, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not in sync with what he said. He said all NDC members, mm -hmm. you are saying some. He said all NDC members are for it. So you are, your then, attempt then to even rationalize and, 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 and deodorize what he said. You know, it's just it's, it's just it's just it's just added, yes, it's just adding to it's just adding to the the negative perception that people will have about no, us. Let me, let me, let me. And the case of 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 the of the World Bank, it mm. is it is clear that when you go to the World Bank, mm -hmm. they will ask you, for example, to cut expenditure that contributes to. Uh, 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 that contributes nothing to the economy. For example, Lions. like flying expensive jets. Oh, you know that on. the president is on Come currently. On. The Come IMF, on. for example, will want you to cut down Come on, on that. They will want on. you to plug loopholes in your revenue generation mm -hmm. sector, where you know we are told that we lose about three you, billion dollars you know to corruption. The Those to are the things they will ask. Let, 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 the finance let, minister let, himself. Let me just end on this note. The finance minister himself has already indicated to us. Right. That he's cutting, you know, uh, 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 twenty percent spending 20, by twenty percent by twenty percent. Right. He's just announced it. He's not giving us the the, the, the areas that it's, he's going to make the cuts in. But those are the things that the IMF will want to to hear. Why? Doc. What is the cost of free education? Uh, that the IMF will say that it is the reason why so, our so, so economy just, 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 just to get expensive. just to get. I, I want us to move yeah. from the video and talk about so okay. e levy itself briefly okay. before okay. we move on to other matters. Okay. Uh, let's let's be factual. Okay. I want to find out from you. Mm -hmm. What you saw in the video, yeah, is it reprehensible or not? Is it is it something you are absolutely comfortable with? I mean, let's imagine someone on their end, you were you were against the e levy, and someone yeah. on their end had done it. Would you be singing what you are singing this morning? How, how do you feel about it, honestly? I, I really think that you know he came to the level of the market women to discuss the issue, and I and I commend the MP for that. You know, because when you do when you do language. You have to come down to the level of the people and what they can relate to. Mm. And I really think that as a member of parliament... Was he being honest? Was he being factual? Well, I mean, listen, um, did he convey the appropriate message that the e levy is very important? Yes. And he had to relate to, to things that they can feel. And, and the, the, the most closest thing that I know market women can feel is the fact that their, their, their wards, their children, uh, stand to benefit from... The free SHS. He also created the impression yeah. that the minority is being very hypocritical, that they are hiding behind well, I mean, uh, the, the, the doors of parliament and, and trying to basically stymie the economic fortunes of the state. That's I've, what he suggested. I've made it so clear that whether it's in a different shade of the E-Levy they had in mind, at least that idea originated from the NDC. Okay. And, and in, in that sense, from a logical perspective, they, they you know... It's like, excuse me to say, uh, getting a job before somebody and then the person abhors the fact that you've gotten a job. I mean, that's, that's what, what it is. This is a first move advantage from an economic perspective. Uh, the MPP did a first move and they're not happy. And, and, and they wish they would have done that first move. But, but in, in, in conclusion with the E-Levy, listen, I've thought over and over and over about it. If we want self-reliance as a country, which is very important for our development, I, I really think that we need to cultivate a culture of contributing to the development of this nation. Quick, quick, pointed question. Uh, you've had a, a number of town hall engagements from down south to up north and all of that. Do you honestly feel, as you sit here, that the E-Levy has the support of the masses of, of Ghana, in Ghana? Listen. Very briefly on that. I mean, don't yes, 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 over elaborate. Yesterday, yes, the one woman told me that, oh, if Elevi will give us jobs, I'm for it. And that was her heartfelt comment about Elevi, about the fact that the U-Start program is within the Elevi uh, domain and it's going to give people job opportunities. And she said, if this is going to create some jobs for us youth, I'm for it. And, and you know, there are pluses to the E-Levy, which they should admit. I want to hear some NDC members of parliament at least acknowledging that, listen, there are some pluses to this, and these are the ones we don't like. But to have that you know, entrenched position that everything about it 
smells and tastes and, you know, feels funny. It's, it's, it's not fair. And you're referencing you start and all of that when you yeah. talk about creating jobs. Yes. Okay. And, so and that's, that's, that's that, was the the woman's, that was the woman's yeah. point that, listen, uh, Doc, if through E-Levy, some of us will get jobs, I'm for it. Why is, and, and, why, and why, is, why, why is the, is, I mean, there's been the whole know, banter about withdrawing it, bringing it back, retabling it, 1.75 to 1.5%. You know, why, 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 why are you still not bringing it? I mean, this entire week, it, it doesn't appear to be on the order, order paper of any day in, in Parliament. What is happening? What I can say here is that I'm so happy that through these town halls, the finance minister is adjusting. And which shows that he's listening. And which also shows that he's moving gradually from, you know, where he stood firmly. Mm -hmm. And that is remarkable for me. And, and I'm happy that, uh, you know, at least I know that it's come to 1.5 and it's even going further down. Per, it's even uh, going further down? It's going further down. Why are you picking that information yeah. from? Oh, I mean, I've had interactions with the finance ministry. And, and You're picking per, information, just yes, to clarify, yes. that there are considerations to, to move it to, even, to move below it, even below 1.5%. You're suggesting then that it could be mm -hmm. that we could come to the next debate on the E-Levy and we could be looking at something 1. even 2. beneath 1.5%. Absolutely. Right. Because if, if, you know, finance minister was at 1.75 with the telco taking 2.5, right. 0.25. Now he's actually looking at moving to 1.5 and then still the telco's... Uh, absorbing the 0.25, which then brings it to 1.25. And, and these are concessions the finance ministry is making. And I really think that we ought to commend them. And, and in addition, mobile to mobile account, your own, your own account, initially you would have paid. But now, if I have MTN and Vodafone at the same time and I'm moving from my own account to the other, I don't pay. It's already so, a deal. No, no, I'm just saying that these were not initially very evident. Right. But now right. these are coming out. And that is why I'm saying that our folks on the other side should come out and be truthful about some of the concessions that the finance minister has made. All right. My, my final bit to you yes. on the E-Levy, while I take his final bit mm -hmm. and we move on. How hopeful are you that it would pass when it's tabled on the floor of parliament? On a scale of 1 to 10, how hopeful are you that we would have an E-Levy bill passed into law? I'm, I'm currently at 7. At a seven. I'm at seven. So you, you, you feel 70%. Yes, I'm currently at seven. Uh, and, and I really think would that, have an e -levy. you know, they should come on board mm. and, and agree that, listen, we've, been, we've played hardball, uh, we've, we've made our points, but we're at a place where we're the crossroads. It's, it's a country's destiny in our hands. And I really think that enough of politicking, enough of partisan things, let's think, you know, as a country, and for the country, and for the people we serve. And you know, it's a bitter pill. And politics and governance is about that. Okay. Sometimes you give a bitter pill to heal the people. Right. I know you have uh, some you quick know, reactions to some of what he said. Yes. I would have you react and then top up with whether you feel they will be able to push this through on the floor of parliament, an E-Levy. Well, with your support. And, and, and maybe whether you would feel differently if it's lessened from 1.5%. You see, he didn't answer your question, or he attempted to. But in the question lies the truth. It was a conditional support that he relayed to you from his constituents, not so. That the constituent said, if, if. That's a conditional support for the E-Levy. And that is how many Ghanaians... If it will create jobs. That is what, that is what many Ghanaians who may have sympathies for the NPP feel. Right. It's, it's general knowledge. So it is, it is quite annoying, forgive me, when you suggest that what the NDC is doing is just politicking and partisanship. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's about a clear understanding of how our taxation policy should be right. and what should be taxed as a state. And the NDC has done a lot of work from the PNDC era till now to establish a very solid tax system in this country. You can't take that away from the NDC. The rule played so by the late the Emis Atta, the rule pay, played by uh, uh, Honorable Setepe in those days, and even pro the late Professor Mayos. Yes. You can't take that away from the NDC. So we are a social democratic party. We are never against taxes because Indeed, a social democratic party aims at taxing the halves so that 
you provide equity in the system for the have not to also you know, aspire to their uh, ability. So a social democratic party can never be against taxes. What we are simply saying is that this is a tax that is going to turn our tax policy in the country upside down. It is going to distort the tax structure. You have not been able to define what this is taxing, whether income or value mm -hmm. addition. You are not, be, you have, and, and so when, for example, you even suggest that the NDC considered electronic you know, way of raising funds, even in this discussion, we have not run away from it. In this discussion of pa the passage of the e-levy, we have made proposals to the NPP to consider taxing the charges, haven't we? We have made proposals to the NPP to consider, you know, uh, uh, isolating merchants, people who use the platforms. Which, which has been done. People who use the platforms so that you tax, you, 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 you slap a certain tax. To consider the, the, the multi... The, 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 is it 400,000 or so? Yes, Focus yes. on them. Focus and, on and them. Leave the rest and of leave the rest of them. That is what we have been saying all along. So it is not as if the NDC is against, you know, taxing the platform that is coming up where people are doing transactions on it. But we are saying that do it in such a way that it does not affect the average man on the street. The youth who are unemployed, the women who are dependent on the stipends that their children send them after, you know, engaging in kayae. Do it in such a way that it does not affect those people. That is our position, and that is not partisan. That is not political. Do that is being part, uh, 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 patriotic. That is being yeah. sensitive to the plight of the average Do Ghanaian. What, what, clearly, clearly, right. our position remain unchanged. Okay. The, 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 so the, you're not the, backing down? The attempt to, 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 to focus this tax on after transactions... But transactions. Because you have not changed your position. You are still focused on transactions. You have not changed. We are saying that focusing on taxing transactions, change, the number of transactions merchants, merchants. is not the way to go. So I, I posed the question to him about yes. his optimism, level of optimism when it comes to the passage of the E-Levy bill into law. He gave me a 7 out of 10. That is pretty optimistic. Yeah. Close to an A grade in, in some mm -hmm. <laughs> exams. Uh, for you, how optimistic are you that they can actually do that? I am very, very optimistic that when the ballot is called mm. on the e-levy, today, next year, the 137 members of parliament will vote against the e-levy in its current form. They have 138 on, on their side. I mean, as a caucus, 137 as a party, 138 as a caucus. And I don't have so control over the 138 and what they do, and I don't know what they discuss, but I know what the 137, you know, uh, uh, stands whipped? for. I know the discussions <laughs> we have been having. Right. And so I can assure the people of Ghana that no matter what, come rain or shine, the NDC 137 Going for long, in the current no, form, right. in the current in form, Ghana, will vote no. against so, it. So let's, let, let, for that, 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 that brings me to the very next bit I want they us to for look at. It, it, it you know, gets us neatly into that. The Asin North uh, seat. You, you, you practically don't have 137 now, do you? We, we have 137. Mm. We have Even after, I mean, once the court processes start, and he's made himself available now, once right. he is served and the processes start, yeah. it, it means that he can no longer hold himself out as a member of parliament, he can't come to the floor of parliament, he can't vote on these issues, he can't vote on the e-levy. That, that leaves you with a handicap. You are 136. Well, that's, 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 that's maybe, that may be what some lawyers have told you. Our lawyers have told us. No, that. that is what the, I mean, not just our lawyers some lawyers. No, your, your lawyers. Our lawyers, lawyers have for told us differently. Yes, our lawyers have told us differently. He remains mm -hmm. a member of parliament. The prosecution, I mean, nobody is, 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 is guilty until proven so. In this country, so the right, fact that right. the fact that you are undergoing prosecution does not deny you your 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 rights that are accrued to you as a member of parliament. Mm. The fact that you are undergoing prosecution does not yeah. make you guilty. Yes. But, but there was a high crime. court ruling uh, to the effect that he shouldn't hold himself as, out. No, that high as, court as, ruling that as high, a member of parliament. That high court and ruling so. is awaiting a supreme court. You see, there are multiple cases. Mm. So if you do not <laughs> follow the cases. You, you, will, you will focus on just one. There are civil and there are criminal, but, exactly. but the fact remains the, the that high court he's been ordered not to hold himself out. Yeah, as, but that high court problem. ruling is, a, is subject to a Supreme Court review, as we speak. Okay. It's subject to a Supreme Court review. 
So not until the Supreme but, Court but pronounces on that high court ruling. It's still it is null and void. It's still effective. No, it is it, it, not it, until the Supreme Court so, so you're basically pronounces saying, on that high court ruling. You're basically ruling. saying, because I, no effect. I recall hearing from uh, the government side, some lawyers from yeah, their mm -hmm. side, uh, suggesting yeah. that once he accepts being served, which is why they've been looking for him to serve him, yeah. once that happens, he can no longer come to parliament. He can no longer no, you see, uh, play the role no, of a member of parliament, no, vote on remember, matters and all of that, which is why no, supposedly listen, he's been listened, avoiding, he's been avoiding no, getting no, no, served. No, 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 no. Listen, remember what happened in court mm. that day. Mm -hmm. They went for an injunction right. without him. Mm. They were seeking an injunction from the court. Right. And the court directed that he be served to appear for the hearing to start. Right. So it is the court that will even determine mm. if the injunction is, you know, uh, uh, proper or not. Unless maybe they have already cooked the judgment. And so cooked. they know once, yes, and, and maybe cooked they know. the judgment? I'm saying that, you but see, for anybody. If he was aware for, of a case for, against him, he said no. Listen, for now anybody. If well, if he didn't, can I finish? I mean, no, now if he's asked what we can I, say. Can I finish? If, 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 if the understanding of mm -hmm. those who were seeking to serve the injunction mm -hmm. is that once the injunction is served, the hearing process is not important. It simply means that he is no longer an, a member of parliament. The only deduction I can make is that perhaps they already know the outcome of the hearing. Not so. Mm -hmm. Because the injunction is inviting him to come for a hearing. And your, if your conclusion with, with is that with, once he is served... He's no longer a member of parliament. Then you are telling me that you know the outcome of the well, hearing. Well, there are legal ramifications of getting served. But, but then are you wading, yes. into, are you wading into what uh, maybe Susu, Francis Xavier Susu has said in recent times, that there are political judges and that maybe when you assume the reins of power once more, you would uh, that is deal with such ridiculous political judges? Because, because if, if you're suggesting this, then it means that there are some judges, per, why, per what you're saying, no, that are compromised. No, why are you not rather interested in... In, 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 in questioning why anybody will ignore a hearing and declare its outcome. What is the person stepping is, is on? That is, that a, person, is, that is that a, a person stepping on a political position? That's what they are saying. That once he served, the hearing is not important because they know the judgment. No, no, Perhaps. No, no. He served with you understand? writs of summons. Once he served, yes, he served with writs of summons to appear in court. And not so how right. does that how does that and, and, how and, does that mean that the court it, has pronounced him guilty? Let, 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 you know, let, so let, me, let, let me ask you, let me ask you as well. On yes, on so on so you see, clearly, uh -huh. let us not be hypocritical in this country. I was shocked when I saw the Ghana Bar Association's reaction to him. Mm. The Ghana Bar Association and so himself that, also yes, you know, and issued. looked on Wells, you know, uh, 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 students who wanted to pursue legal education had to demonstrate and on their own. The Ghana Bar Association didn't find that important. This is not Indeed, the Ghana Bar Association have even told us before in this country that they no longer comment on political issues. Mm. Haven't they? Mm. Yeah, but when, How it's, when it's legal... No, no. I mean, no, no, let, no, that is political. I, I, I want to know what, political. What, what is your point? So let us not the be The fact that they don't wade into certain things does not mean... I mean, they are saying that it we are not political. It just tells you that the Bar Association has become an appendage of, you know, another political party. Oh, to which no. political party? The, the NPP, NPP, of course. No, no, no. The it's NPP? Become, it behaves no, like no, an appendage no, no. of let's, the new let's political party. There. But what, that's what, by what the is way. your basis for saying that? Let's please. I mean, why, why check the history of this country? The Bar Association is very critical of the government of the NDC. Either, oh. either President Rawlings, oh. either President Mills, or President Mahama. They are critical. Oh. The uh, history is, uh, the this records is, are there. This is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to President Kufu and President Nana Kufuado, the history is there. But, but it's, inter been it's in the interesting because, because even in impaneling, uh, I mean, the Supreme Court, for example, yeah. the justices have been brought in by both NDC and the MPP yeah. over the decades, over the three decades that we've had in the it fourth doesn't, It doesn't. So, it doesn't. So, so then the suggestion then yeah. logically would be that yeah. uh, even if you were playing that game, then there would be some who are from your end as yeah. well, who support your end, yeah. right? You know, I, 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 don't know I don't know why we have, we, we, we play ostriches with these things. Look, oh, man. What did Susu say? That any judge, uh -huh. mm, any judge, who is political mm, will be treated as such. Are we therefore suggesting mm -hmm. that it is okay for judges to be political? No. 
I mean, if I say... I guess it depends on the jurisdiction, because in other countries, I mean, like in the yes, US, yes, yes. we know in, how in, they go yes, about we their do it. but here yeah. we have But here we haven't. But I'm right. saying that if Chachu's crime, I mean, sorry, I say Chachu, Sosu's crime, Sosu. if Sosu's crime is that he's cautioning judges not to be political, are we therefore saying that it is okay for judges to be political? Are you by then, uh, because are, 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 are you by that suggesting criminal? that our judges are in fact political, are in fact shaded, tinted, or changed NDC and MPP. No, is, that what, is that what you're suggesting? The reaction is the making grave, me think grave, that oh, we are suggesting nah, that it is okay nah, for them to be tainted nah, politically. Nah, 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 nah. The reaction I, I from really the Bar Association that. and others I is really making me feel, can I finish, Doc? Okay. It's making me feel that perhaps we are saying that Sosu's caution is criminal mm -hmm. and that judges should be allowed to be political. Right. That's, that's so, what I am thinking. Uh, let me, let me come you see, in. Let me come see, in. It is uh, not even Sosu who said this. Remember Raymond, Dr. Raymond Atuguba? Oh, Did a research uh, work on this? Please. Not just let, saying let me, let me a research work I, on I, this. I, I know what let, you, let me make you're a pointing point. to. He but did a research work on this. It, 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 so it is not a survey or something that, yes, I know. It was a research conducted by Dr. Raymond Atikuba. That revealed that some of It is not all encompassing. But that some of the rulings suggest... Can I make a point? Yes, so it is not... How do you react to that? I think that, you know, when you are part of a society or an association, uh, the onus is on you to carry yourself in a fashion that is acceptable. For instance, out, outside... You are members of parliament. You've been fighting on the floor sure, of no, parliament. No, no. My, my, is that my, acceptable? My, <laughs> it isn't, my, is my it? My point is, for instance, <laughs> in a professional society like the Medical and Dental Council or, you know, Ghana Medical Association, there are certain things that I cannot necessarily uh, say doctors do uh, to, to bring the profession in this repute. And I really think that Susu should carry himself appropriately per the guidelines of the bar association that he's part of. And that is where I think he has erred. And, and so you know, when I, you, when you, when you, when you, just when you, 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 when I was talking. Can I come in? Can I ask you a question? When you put medical association, can I ask you a question? If I say any doctor who, any doctor who kills people will be treated as a murderer. You know, is that wrong? Is that wrong for you to say so? Any doctor who would kills people like is a murderer. Is, is that wrong to say that? That yeah, any that doctor is, who kills people is a murderer. Is, you shouldn't say that as a doctor. Totally different from how is it different? What, uh, Susu, uh, how is it different in our context? Is, is that if is, a judge uh -huh. behaves politically, he will be treated politically. Oh, no, no. Let, doc, uh, go my, ahead. My point so is if that you kill people as a doctor, he's allowed to make his point. My point here is that, listen, we've brought the legal profession to a certain level, and I really think that Society has some faith in the legal practice in this country. Right. And it is not right for one individual to, to bring it down in, 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 in the debt. You think and, that's and that what is, Susu is doing? That's what he's doing. And, and, and he sought Come on. to do that on countless times. Come on. And his, his conduct... I mean, in all fairness, I mean, I think... As, they, a, as a member of the association, do, a, do, you feel, do you feel yeah? he would... He would do that unless there was something Listen, that really pushed him to a work. lot of his behaviors have been out of sync with what a legal practitioner should do that's, okay that's, and that let's, is my let's my, let's my, let's my, let's my, let's, my, let's, my, let's, my, let's steer clear of the so, so, that, that so, so on the ascent north seat that's not a fair how, how do you CCR feel team. about um you know jackie quason still holding himself up as a member of parliament what do you think about that entire development is you he know, still an mp and and when the vote on the e-levy is called and, and your side sees mm -hmm. him in parliament trying to vote, what is going to happen? You know, a lot of the determination rests in the bosom of the speaker. And, and this would be a call to duty. And I'm expecting and hoping that the speaker will uh, apply the rules of the game appropriately without bias. Uh, and, and the thing Are you is, suggesting the speaker is biased? I'm not suggesting that. I'm saying that this is one of the tests of his truthfulness to Ghanaians in terms of making sure that the office he holds, he's adjudicating it appropriately. But there's if been you, a if, history. If you don't think anything he's done smacks of bias, why would you even bring this up? There's been a history in this country where an MPP MP with similar circumstances was jailed under their leadership mm. not too long ago. And, and, and Which member of parliament specifically are you oh, referring to? He's, he's late now. He Sorry. He's late now. Um, um, oh my goodness. He's late. He's, he died not too long ago. Mm. Uh, we, have, we had a member of parliament 
who was arrested. Uh, you know, I mean, and, and that's how, mm. that's how uh, Ayariga came to parliament. Mm. If I am not, what, what's the, he what's, arrested. what's the consequence? Secondly, Boku Central. Yes. Secondly. Yes. Secondly, I, I'm just secondly wondering which, which secondly person was, specifically Secondly was you prosecuted. Are, prosecuted you are, you appropriately? Are, yes. But he was an MP? Yes, he was an yeah. MP. He was prosecuted. Yeah. But well, that's the okay. point. Question right. is being my, prosecuted. My, right. No one is stopping the prosecution. So my point I'm making. So you think you think Quason should go through the same process? That's what he's going through. through. Right. That's what right. he's going He'll through. go through. And, 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 and what I'm saying is that it will be the Speaker's uh, call to admit him into Parliament or not. Per the legal... Uh, from from happen. where you sit and, yeah. and knowing the roots of the speaker from the NDC, I mean, yeah. he served the NDC side back to back in parliament. Do you feel he's going to allow him to, uh, I mean, what, what do you foresee? Do you foresee that he's going I, to allow I, I think the speaker that will, to be the a speaker, part of the vote? The speaker, per the advice he'll get from other legal practitioners, would, would do the right thing. He has to. Which is what? What, which, what in which, this which case would be the right thing? Which uh, is go with what the uh, law court pronounces. The high court. The high court. But the pronounces. matter is pending in the Supreme Court. Yes. And, 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 but you go with what the high court says. And if later on... But the matter the is Supreme, pending in the Supreme Court. Well, there is I mean, no conclusion you know, to that. <laughs> either way. Either way. Once the, the, the initial case is determined and, and he does his, uh, uh, what we call appeal, um, that one can maybe change things, but in the interim, so so if he will if, lose, he will if lose the speaker the, allows, the to carry if the speaker allows Judge Quayson mm -hmm. to come on the floor of Parliament and vote on the e levy, that for you would be biased, right? That would be incongruous with with the uh, position he holds, mm -hmm. and and I think that he needs to show Ghanaians that he's uh, wearing the hat of the speaker for the country, not a particular party, and and it's a huge challenge for him. And, and I, I don't envy his position at this, at, at this moment because your loyalty to parties will be questioned and your loyalty to the country is paramount than loyalty to parties. Let's, you know, let's, let's, let's... Maybe, maybe let's say... 30 seconds, the, the speaker, 30 seconds. The speaker is not a lawless man. The speaker understands the law. In fact, he has been making the law since... He's been a lawmaker. 19, right. Since well, the 1992 constitution. Judges he himself... He himself... Judges is I'm happy you now so, say judges. So, so if judges come in politically. Like, if they are political, no, 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 they will no. be treated politically. Aaron but the point is, is that... The point is that when he gives a uh, second day's case, nobody harass second day to, you know, abandon his duties as a member of parliament until the court pronounce him guilty and sentence him. And that is all we are saying that question two should be allowed to go through the process. And we believe that at the end of the cases, he will come out victorious because the allegations against him, we insist are unfounded. He will determine, they will be determined in court. So until the judges, you know, pronounce him as, guilty, as let nobody try to use any backdoor means of stopping him from representing the good people of his constituency. We already have a, you know, a very bad example on our hands where the people of Sao right. are not represented in parliament. Let's not do that to the people of, uh, 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 what's the name of the constituency? Asin North. North. Let's not do that to the people okay. of Asin North. Right. Allow the processes to go through. To, I mean, should also play the high court, like, uh, the high court be, ruling. I think there was a stay of execution and, that was put on. I mean, he, 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 you why? Know, where, where, where was he hiding? On Friday, for example, he was in the chamber. And all that. He was in the chamber. Well, well, That's a well, lie. Well, well, that that has been proven to so, be a lie. I mean, so those so are the backdoor way. means I'm saying people should not use to stop him from representing okay, so his it, constituents. It, 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 it's a lie. In offering your concluding thoughts on this conversation, I just want to sneak in this bit, and I, I'll give you a minute each, so let's, let's try to work within that time. Uh, there's also the UTAG bit, and, and because you've touted, and, and we all know your <laughs> affinity for teaching and teachers in this country, how do you feel about the latest ruling? Uh, UTAG has said that uh, it will not necessarily just move ahead with this. They've spoken about the fact that, yes, they've heard of the court order. They want to see the documentation. They want to go through it. They want to peruse it and have their lawyer give them advice, which means that still they are not showing up. Your quick take on that as we wrap. And uh, you also give your closing I comments. really feel disturbed by um, the posturing of uh, government, the NLC, mm. and this ruling. I feel disturbed by it. Because, you see, in cases like this, 
we should not seek to get a winner right. and a loser. Mm. It is not the best approach in such a conflict. You don't seek to get a winner and then declare a loser. So I am disturbed hugely by the stance of government, the NLC, and the courts. Because in the end, it is the poor students who are bearing the brunt of all of this. Right. Students and that who is reported, why they say they should go students, back to school and continue the negotiation. Let us, let us, let us be reasonable. So your, your one minute is almost yeah. let, 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 Thank you. Let, let us be reasonable too. This matter has been pending for so many years now, several years now. Right. You know, so it is unfair to continue to tell the lecturers to be the ones, you know, conceding all the time and okay. going to the, to the right. hall. It is, it is unfair. Let's be sincere. About it. Doctor if you were a doctor yeah, you, you, and you were on strike yeah. for very genuine reasons and you have you often go on strike. I mean to be unfair for anybody to say you should ignore your F final, final so, 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 so my thing about you tag is 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 a painful or unfortunate scenario. I, I'm not for strikes no matter what. I'm not for strikes. Mm. I, I think that the school calendar has been affected. Careers have been affected. Right. Not just school, but careers have been affected. And, and I was affected at some point in time. I had to wait two years before continuing, you know, to, to, to uh, further my education because of strikes. And we've, we've had disruption of our national development because of this. And, and, and I think that, in all fairness, they are not saying that negotiations is over. They are saying that, con let's get back to the school calendar. Let's be working. Mm -hmm. And let's continue on this path of negotiation. And, and I think in fairness to the government, Barest minimum, there's been some concessions that came about through uh, teacher allowances and all these other things that were not in existence mm -hmm. when the NDC was in government. So at least, I'm just, I'm just saying that... That's not true. Although it came through a different channel, enjoyed allowance. you've had a little bit of, of some benefit. They, they should be and, rude and, boy and, 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 and reason with you. And not, me so. not necessarily, but you know, allow negotiations to go on. When parents have issues, negotiations okay. have we been try going on as for much several as years to right, affect the children. And right. in this and case, sometimes they tell I us really they even go to the meeting grounds and, and they are treated We're, we are continuing this conversation from that front to, to engage on the, this UTAG uh, development and uh, take it from there in terms of parents and others, how they may yeah. feel about the yeah. situation. But gentlemen, thank because you so much. Because remember, students uh, just for reported, joining. Uh, the right. week they reported was right. when they strike. And five five on weeks campus. on, 36 yeah. days and, and counting. Alassane Suini is Member of Parliament for Tamale North. Uh, thank you, sir, for thank joining the conversation. Much. Dr. Dixon Adumaku Kisi, Member of Parliament, Anya Soutum. Thank you uh, for joining the conversation. Now, we continue with our big stories, and as I've painted the picture, there's a lot more coming your way as we uh, look at UTAG, this entire development. Now, the court is saying go back, but they are still saying we have reasons not to go back immediately. Uh, what do we do from there? Uh, do stay with us. We'll be right back.